Howdy, Dan Bass here with Bass's Backyard Barbecue. Got some baby back ribs that have been on the smoker now for about three and a half hours. They've been smoking over some East Texas pecan wood that's been sitting on top of some hardwood lump charcoal. Uh, I did the, the dry rub with them just like I always have done. Let me bring you over here and show you what I got. Here they are, baby back ribs. Like I said, they've been smoking for about three and a half hours here on, on the pit. Got some East Texas pecan wood bringing in smoke from down there in the, in the firebox. So our next step is to uh, wrap them up in some foil and uh, top them off with some uh, apple rings and some onion rings and some poblano rings. And then they'll stay in here for probably about another hour and a half, maybe an hour, hour and a half so they keep on getting more tender. And they will be absolutely delicious. When we slice into them, you'll see a beautiful red smoke ring all the way around them, and it'll be white in the center, just the way a, a good baby back should be. And uh, I put a sop on them throughout the time I was cooking them, just like I always have. And we did a dry rub with them of paprika, cayenne pepper, onion powder, and some garlic. Okay, we'll be back in just a little bit. All right, I got one of the rib racks set up here on some foil. As you can see, I layered up the apple rings and poblano and the onions so that that'll all just kind of infuse extra flavor into it and, and keep it moist as it continues to stay on the pit. Uh, so we're gonna wrap these up and get the rest of them done. And put them back on here for about another hour to an hour and a half. And we will be done and ready for dinner. After you wrap everything up and, uh, and foil with the extra veggies, it's a good idea to kind of set them right next to the mouth of the firebox where all the heat's coming out. If you put them over here, they're really not going to get much benefit. So leave them right here. Make sure the fire has still got some heat coming out of it. Let's check that. Oh yeah, plenty of coals in there. Okay, this will all be ready in just about an hour. All right, we'll come back and uh, show you what it looks like when we slice it open. Well, as the ribs are finishing up over here, let me go ahead and lower that down so that it keeps the heat in. Put some corn on the cob and some sausage over here on the firebox side. Rub the corn on the cob down with some butter and some paprika, some pink Himalayan salt, and some Old Bay seasoning, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Give a little bit of heat along with it. So that'll be a nice little side dish along with our ribs tonight. All right, we're getting real close to being able to cut open the ribs and see what they look like. All right, here we are with Bass's Backyard Barbecue Baby Back Ribs. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Here it is. Slice it open and see what they look like. It's always easier to slice your ribs when you turn them over upside down. You can see the bones on the back. Mm. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I want to try one. You see the smoke rind all the way around the outside and the perfect white on the center. That is exactly the way you want your ribs to look. And you only wish you could taste them. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. All right. I'll get everything sliced up and I'll give you one last view of everything uh, when it's been plated because it looks pretty that way. Here we are. Got a couple of racks of ribs, smoked perfectly. Got some delicious sausage, also cooked up nicely. And all the, uh, the extra trimmings there in the middle. Hey, get out of here. Hey, hey, come back here with that sausage. No. Right. That was my son. He ate my sausage. Okay. Thank you for joining us at Backyard Barbecue. I'm gonna go eat now.